Hi, everyone. I hope you all had a nice and safe break and welcome to CRIM 2080 Introduction to Forensic Science. My name is Leanne Kuwahara and I'll be your instructor for this course. Uh, before we get into the syllabus, I want to tell you a little bit about my educational background. So I graduated from Loyola Marymount University in 2019 with a degree in biology and a chemistry minor. And now I'm a criminalistic graduate student at Cal State LA. So with that, let's jump into the syllabus. Let's get to the beginning. All right. So like I said, this is Introduction to Forensic Science. We'll be going over what is forensic science, what forensic scientists do, the types of uh, evidence that they analyze, how the evidence is analyzed, and their role of testifying in court. So student learning outcomes, after you complete this course, you should be able to recognize the legal aspects of forensic science evidence, discuss the probative value of physical evidence in the justice system, explain the ethical requirements of an expert witness, and relate the value of forensic science to their civic responsibility in the community. The textbook, I've gotten a few emails about this. It is recommended, like it says here, you by all means do not need it. Uh, but if you'd like to have something to refer to, go ahead and get this book. Uh, but anything that you'll need to complete any assignments, quizzes or exams, I'll provide you in the PowerPoint lectures. Your grade in this class is gonna be evaluated on your performance on two midterm exams, a semi-cumulative final examination, uh, three assignments and two quizzes. The way I'm gonna have you or give you access to quizzes and exams is you'll have one week to complete them uh, and one try to complete them. So I'll go over that a little later in this video. And then lastly, extra credit will be available as assigned. So within the assignments and exams, I'll have uh, one or two uh, extra credit questions for you guys to answer. So here's the breakdown of assignments. Like I said, you'll have two quizzes that are worth 10 points each. These are multiple choice. Uh, then you'll have two assignments, a virtual crime lab tour where you'll watch a video uh, going through different sections of a crime lab and answer a few questions about that. And then after our fingerprint assignment or fingerprint lecture, you'll have an assignment on fingerprints. And then you'll also have a mock crime scene. This is worth uh, 50 points. And basically, I'll give you a case scenario and you'll have to go through and look for evidence and tell me how you would analyze and collect this evidence. Then you'll have the two midterms, non-cumulative. That's a combination of multiple choice, true, false, and uh, a few short answer questions. And when I say short, I mean short, like a paragraph maybe, not, not an essay or anything like that. And then you'll also have that final exam. Again, multiple choice, short answer. So this is the breakdown of the grading scale. So an A would be 93 to 100% and so on and so forth. Anything you need to pass. So due to the COVID-19 pandemic, this course is going to be entirely online. The way I'll be providing you with lecture content is just like this. I'm going to pre-record the lecture for you, uh, provide you with the PowerPoints. And anytime you have any questions, you can email me and or ask for office hours and I'll set those up for you and we'll have them over Zoom. Uh, we will be using Canvas. I got a few emails about this as well. Right now, I'm still in the process of getting approved to teach this course. My paperwork is still being processed, so I don't have access to Canvas yet, unfortunately. So until then, I'll be emailing you the lecture videos and the accompanying PowerPoints. Lastly, uh, make sure that you're submitting all your assignments, quizzes, and exams on time. I know we're in some tough times, so if you forget to submit or you're just running late on having an assignment or quiz exam uh, completed, let me know and I can give you extensions accordingly. Just don't make it a habit. 
A quick disclaimer, uh, due to the nature of this field, we'll be going over some uncomfortable and potentially triggering topics uh, such as suicide. We'll also be looking at some uh, graphic pictures just to uh, give you more information on what is seen at a crime scene, what type of patterns we look for. So I'll do my best to give you a warning right before we go over this, but this is a pre-warning for that. Uh, we will be going over some of these types of topics. By now, most of you should be aware of the university and school policies, as well as the academic honesty agreement. For this course, uh, the exams and quizzes will be open note, so we shouldn't have a problem there. Lastly, uh, if you have uh, any disabilities that you need me to know about and need accommodation for, please let me know uh, as soon as possible and I'll make these accommodations for you. Moving on to the course schedule. So the way I'm gonna have these videos is gonna be a little different from how I have it here. The order will be the same of the topics we go through, but instead of giving you one hour long video on field investigation and documentation of evidence, I'll be splitting these into smaller videos. So instead of an hour long video, you might have three videos that are 15 minutes long each thing. So then assignments over here, I have uh, your quizzes and assignments listed. The assignments, as soon as I have access to Canvas will be posted for you to look at and uh, complete and the due date is listed below. Then again, with quizzes and exams, you'll have one week to complete them. So you'll have one chance to take them and then, but you'll have one week to begin to take your test. So for instance, quiz one is gonna be posted on February 9th and you'll have until February 16th to complete that. Same thing with midterms, I'll post this on the ninth or maybe the fourth and you'll have until the 16th to complete it. All right. And with that, I think we're done here. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Like I said, I'm pretty good at responding to emails. So if you don't get a response back to me uh, from me within 24 hours, just send another email, a follow up email and I should get back to you. All right. See you in the next video. Bye.